we got a little wind and rain uh, it's only Tuesday so uh, it hasn't actually got here yet but um, so it starts that's our old mattress we got to take it around back and burn it but you know last couple weeks it was like raining every day and then today she was like should we take it around back I'm like if anything it's just going to fall over that's pretty much it she goes but it'll get soaked and as soon as she said it she knew <laughs> don't <laughs> but yeah so I think we're going to move our Chevy up here um, just to keep it out of the so I moved the Corvette over here and we pushed the Toyota up there to keep it because there's a one limb up here that I do not like that I need to cut down that one right there Okay. And I didn't want it falling down on the truck. Ooh, that's cold. So yeah, so this is kind of like the start, but oh, there's Monk. What? Oh, I told him about the mattress. It'll get soaked. <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad it didn't get soaked during those two weeks of steady rain we had. <laughs> Oh, good. It's well cleaned anyway. What? The mattress. That's a mattress. Already. Yeah, that was our old one. Well, I was going to drag it in the back. And How long did you have that? Well, as long as I had the house, pretty much six years. Yeah. And it should have lasted, I think, ten years. But well, it, not that not that one, though. That was a... I mean, it came from Sam's. I, it wasn't a bad mattress. It's like 250 it bucks. It was about 400 but yeah. it was... It wasn't a bad mattress. No, I mean four hundred dollars. Okay, you gave four hundred dollars for that thing. It lasted six years. Yeah. We so, gave two thousand dollars for the one we replaced that one with. I know. So wow. So yeah, the hurricane. Where's the hurricane's out in the Gulf right now, right? Yeah, it's hit Florida. It is in Florida now, though. But um. But it's not here yet. Tonight is supposed to come about eight o'clock tonight. Yeah. It's supposed to, yeah. yeah. So I think, and of course, I don't like it at night because you can't see it, and that's mm. when the heat is going to be is in the middle of the night. But uh, my worry is that we could be out without power for a week or longer. Well, I'm not worried about that because we got battery power, we got a generator. I know. I, and the last time it was just us, I have to. I don't know if I can get it. Well, we still, we'll still have when, power. We win, it's done. I'm going to do my best. Okay. Well, I'm going out back now. Alright. Good luck on that. She's <laughs> doing her video. Bruno thought he was going to go outside. He got to the door and stopped in his tracks. He hates rain. But if you put his raincoat on him, he'll go out. So, yeah, it's pretty much, I guess it's really close, so. All this stuff out here will be okay. I don't have to worry about none of this. That's all metal stuff. She took the umbrella down, so it should be all right. It's over there. Um, I'm sure we'll have, we always get like the palm fronds come down and, you know, we'll just put it in a burning pile and burn it. But, oh yeah. Oh, I smell the salt air. <laughs> but some days, even when it's not raining or breezy, you can smell you can smell the coast because like I said we're we're pretty close so I get that whiff of that salt air every once in a while but yeah so it's whoops sorry all right to clean my lens off I'll be back with you here in a little bit as this progresses so stick around guys okay everyone a little update it's 20 after 2 AM of course and as you can see it's very quiet but it's not too quiet 
I do hear some crickets off in the distance over that way. That storm that was earlier was around four o'clock, but it it stormed like that for about an hour and just kind of stopped. And it sprinkled a few times and that was it. Well, that's it was coming right for us. Um, but then it made a right turn and started turning east because it was coming like right straight up towards our area so it was getting the outer banks the outer outer edge of it of it and uh so it turned and we're over by crystal river we're not in crystal river we're not far from crystal river so about an hour i don't know hour hour and 10 minutes something like that uh, south of us is Tampa and it looks like it's going to hit just just a little south of Tampa and St. Pete so yeah it did make that right turn so at about that time it was um, it was west just west of the Florida Keys of Key West and then down in the Keys in that area. It was just west of that, so they were getting hit pretty good. The I didn't cross them, but, you know. Um, so, they're expecting... You guys are in the dark. They're expecting... Um, what if I put you on night vision? Whoops. Hit the wrong button. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, they're expecting uh, it to hit between like a quarter after 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning. They're expecting it to make landfall with a Cat 3, like I said, around the Tampa area. Um, so I don't think we're going to get hit very hard. We, Our county is expected to get 60 mile an hour winds and a lot of rain. Um... There are mandatory evacuations in my county, but we're not, you know, we don't have to evacuate. But that's mostly for, like, trailer parks and, you know, mobile homes and motorhomes, RVs, that sort of thing. But I'm sure we're going to get some bad weather, and I'm sure we're going to lose power. But I don't think, you know, like I said, if it goes in where it's supposed to go in, you know, we're we're pretty much we'll pretty much be okay unless it starts running up the coast it it done that it done that that one time on that last bad hurricane we had it started heading in inland south of us and then it kind of went past us a little bit and kind of went into the cedar key area just north of us and uh it hit pretty good up in there um we had some bad weather, but I don't think it's going to be anything too super serious here. But we'll just play it by ear, and I'm going to let you know in the morning uh, what's happening. Or if anything happens between now and then. Uh, yeah, I'll keep sorry about the darkness, guys. I didn't realize I'm standing here looking around. I always look around the area, and I was just kind of holding the camera here. So sorry about that, but... Just an update to let you know what's going on. So, um, yeah, so it's technically Wednesday. The last clip was last night, Tuesday afternoon, 4 o'clock-ish. So, I'll see you again in the morning. Like I said, unless it starts getting bad, but it's very still, very quiet, other than a few crickets. Uh, it is 71 degrees, so it's very nice. I was going to set up my hammock, and be in my hammock when this was going on you know what I forgot all about it so but anyway we'll see what's happening hang tight guys okay guys it's 4 a.m. and the water's coming well the rain is <laughs> monkeys delirious I can't say anything time to breathe What the hell is that? <laughs>
hard, dog. Bruno over there. On the... <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> so anyway, rain's coming. So. Rain is coming. Rain is coming. Feels good out here, man. I should have. I told you. I forgot. I told you to remind me. Set up my thing. It would have been nice. In that tent hammock right now. I've never had it up in the rain, so as soon as this rain hit, I'd be asleep. I've been up all night again. You stay up all night. I don't know how you do it without getting sick. I get sick to fight off sleep. Alright. I'll keep you posted. Okay, guys. So, Hi. it's noon on Wednesday. We got a little bit of wind this morning and we have light rain it's been raining all morning well pretty much all night too uh, I don't know why it was I don't know if I said it was supposed to hit between I don't know seven and eight this morning but it's gonna it's probably gonna hit us a little later this evening not this morning um, because it's still out in the Gulf right now, but they are predicting that to hit Fort Myers pretty hard. Well, the eye of it's supposed to make landfall at Fort Myers uh, about 2.30, I think. But, um, so, I mean, we're going to be all right. We're not going to get slammed, but we are still going to, they're predicting in my town here, uh, 60 mile an hour sustained winds and gusts i forget how fast the gusts but yeah it's starting to get breezy now so you know the eye's going to miss us but we're still going to get some bad weather i'm sure we'll lose power and i can still smell it coming in it turned so that's good that's why it well it's not good for fort myers don't get me wrong it's terrible for them but it did turn away from us. It is a cat four right now at 155 mile an hour winds, which you need 157 or above to be a cat five. So it's pretty close to a cat five right now. <clears throat> so uh, what they're also worried about here, they're mainly worried about flooding here in my town. We got flood warnings out. Now, guys, we are like three fourths away. Damn it. Three fourths of the way up a, a hill. So it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but that's a pretty good grade there. And so that'll, uh, what? So, what was I saying? Monkey opened the door, and now I don't know what I said. Um, but anyway, so we're, you know. Like I said before, like the wind comes over top of us and they get hard right up here. Just the next house over, they usually get hard when it when it storms like this. Um, we don't get a whole lot of wind. We'll have some stuff down, like palm fronds and stuff like that. Uh, but usually like from the neighbor's house right up here on, uh, they usually get slammed up in there but so the trees and the hillside kind of helps block it for us and like i said uh what is it a quarter mile that way is the gas station and like i said we're about three-fourths up this hill so um, i'm not worried about flooding i mean when it rains hard yeah this kind of floods out but you know what i mean it doesn't lay there so i think we're going to be okay but like i said i'm pretty sure we're going to lose power <laughs> now it's weird because all last week we had like three or four beautiful days in a row it didn't rain at all and our power would go out for three or four seconds and then come back on it's been on the whole time so we're good there we got plenty of water plenty of food and uh so we're gonna be all right in that that aspect i got plenty of battery power and you know we got the generator in the garage there right there at the garage door so if we need it I can just pull it out under this 
overhang here and then close the door and fire it up. That way it won't be so loud and of course you don't ever want to run a generator inside a garage or house or anything like that. So yeah. So okay, that's the update. I'm going to I'm going to cut it here. I'll upload this for you so you you guys get an idea of what's going on. We're fine right now and I think we're going to be fine. I don't think there's going to be any issues right here. Uh I do however believe it's going to storm and it's going to we're going to get some wind and a lot of rain and I believe our power will go out but I think we're going to be fine I I don't foresee any issues so you know we we survived a record hurricane Hurricane Irma and you know it got windy here but it didn't get windy until I got almost to the when I walked up there I got almost up to the uh, neighbor's house and it, it almost blew me over and I could see things blowing around and <laughs> uh, trash cans I mean it was bad and then as soon as I walked back like five feet it was it was breezy but it wasn't like real super bad so so I'm like wow we're protected here so all right guys I'm gonna let you go and I'll keep an eye out and anything bad starts going <clears throat> You know, I'll kick you on live stream, or uh, I'll get a film for you. But like I said, right now, since it since it turned, since it turned, it and now it can still just come straight up the coast. But uh, they're not they're not expecting it to. They're expecting to hit more Fort Myers. So uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna be all right on this one. But you know whenever we get a hurricane coming this close to us we do prepare which pretty much our preparedness is just make sure we get enough water <laughs> you know because everything else I've always always got ready just in case so <laughs> alright guys thanks for watching appreciate it uh, more updates to come I'm sure and thanks for everyone's well wishes I really appreciate it so yeah, it's still going to get interesting, so stick around for the next one. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. And behave yourselves. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.